guys, welcome to tonight's video. Tonight I have a special guest I'd like to introduce you to. This is Sneezy, and Sneezy got her name because when I found her, she had a very bad upper respiratory infection, which caused her to sneeze a lot. Um, so she's a stray. I don't know if she has an owner or anything, but I took her in a month ago because she got hit by a car. And she just come running up to my uh, porch with her two front legs. These legs were just hanging behind her. And I was like, I'm taking her in and I'm taking care of her. Because uh, nobody else seemed to care. So, I mean, I asked neighbors and stuff. Nobody knew anything. Um, so, I took her in. And I've had her for a month now. Um, let's see. She has to wear diapers. Um, these are kid diapers. She has some sores here, which we have to bandage at night. So that's what we're getting ready to do. Um, we've been doing our therapy and guess what guys, she's starting to walk. So I'm excited because she hasn't been able to walk for this past month, month and a half. She hasn't been able to walk. So it's exciting that she's starting to walk now and I hope to make her my cat. So I'm pretty much claiming her. Um, and she's just so sweet, but I feel so bad for her because her eyes are, because of that respiratory infection she had, her eyes got so infected too because of the lack of care, um, that she had that it, I think she's gone a little blind. She's not fully blind, of course, but I think she's losing some sight because of that or it damaged her eyes, but she, we were just doing therapy. That's why she's laying on the blanket. Um, but her back legs do have, um, movement and she'll kick you in a heartbeat. So I don't think she has any spinal damage, but I did try to reach a vet when I first found her like this because I didn't know whose cat it was and I wasn't sure what to do. I didn't have money to pay for a vet bill either because at the time, I was just struggling, you know, and I have a, a pretty good amount of animals myself that I have to take care of vet-wise, and it gets pretty pricey. So I called around, and no vet would help me. They were like, euthanize her. Go take her to get euthanized. She's going to suffer if you don't because you can't afford the health care. Um, I was like, no, she's not going to suffer. Trust me. I'll find a way. So I just took her in. Um... Like I said, I called vets for days and nobody would help me. I was like, y'all are vets. Like, didn't you go to school because you loved animals? Like, can't you do something? Like, even just give me x-rays and tell me what's going on and let me take care of her at home. They wouldn't do anything. So, like I said, took her in. Um, I had pain med medication because I called a vet and one vet out of all the vets I called, I called all over told me I could give her aspirin, and she told me how much to give her, she said it can be human grade, but make sure, you know, it's a certain amount, and this and this, so she did have the pain medicine, um, she didn't have an antibiotic, because unfortunately, I called a lot of vets, nobody would give me an antibiotic for her, um, even if I paid for it, they said she had to be seen before they would give the medicine, so she didn't have an antibiotic, but she did have like ointments and stuff because I did keep track of her wounds and I did buy her um, medicine for her upper respiratory infection because you can buy that over the counter. So here she is today, a month later, and she's starting to walk. Um, she can she can pretty much walk a couple steps. She can stand on her own. She can put weight on her feet. Um, and this is a cat that was so sick and so injured she couldn't even hardly drag herself because like she when she saw me that day she tried to get to me fast but I'm telling you she couldn't even like her, she couldn't hardly move without being in pain now she's like literally she could get up and walk right now if I can she has some sores that we have to tend to so come here they want to see your leggies you gonna show your leggies Say hey. Sneeze. Say hey. She has that stink face. She always has it. I think it's because of her eyes. It kind of looks like she's mad all the time. Can I, can I show them your legs? 
but she does have, as you can see, she's spreading her toes. Spread your toesies. Spread your toesies. See? So, she's doing good, guys. Like, I'm surprised. She cannot scratch herself yet. She can't lift her leg up. But we've been working on that. We've been doing exercises. We try to lift the leg up over the head. We do little um, rotations. And it doesn't hurt her. Um, she doesn't have any more um, pain, which is good. Because we waited a while before we started um, therapy. So, yeah, guys. Um, just wanted to share her story and just say if you ever find an animal in need and you can't afford to help them, and nobody else around you wants to help, just take it upon yourself to do what you can. Um, even if you do, are financially not able to, anything that could possibly save a cat's life or a dog or whatever, just try your best to do what you can for something because it, they're like humans, you know, to me. Um, they're like people and they need to be respected and treated well. I mean, if you've seen an old elderly man on the road that was sick and couldn't hardly walk, you would go out and help. So, anyways, I just wanted to share her with you. She's such a sweetheart. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. She's just so sweet, and I love her so much. And like I said, I'll show you the sores that she has. They're kind of icky. But um, because she has to wear diapers, and diapers rub them raw because they're not made for them um even the pet diapers pet diapers are the worst for her because they rub her work this is what some of these are from the pet diapers these don't rub as bad but yeah that's a sore from rubbing and from this rubbing um and the diapers rubbing but I have ointment for it, and we just cleaned it. That's why it's a little white, um, as you can see in there. It looks a little white because um, we use peroxide, clean it up, and then we bandage it. Um, I usually take this diaper off and let it air out, too. But right now, um, we were doing therapy, so we had to keep the diaper on so she doesn't use the bathroom on me. Um, but, yeah, she's she is way better than she was, and I'm just so proud of her. I mean, I couldn't be more proud of an animal, um, and she's came so far. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go so I can finish helping her with her therapy and go ahead and get her little wounds um, taken care of because they're pretty bad, as you can see. They need to be dressed. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, say bye, Sneeze. Sneezy, say bye. Aw, oh, okay. I'll see you guys later.